Hello, my name is Jay, and today we'll be taking a look at the LEGO Minecraft Iron Golem, the official version. Now, I bought this off Lazada.com. You can also purchase this guy. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you too can purchase one of these guys for your own. It is merely about three ringgit at most, so yeah. So let's get into the review of this guy. So I have a lot to talk about this figure. It is good and it is bad in many ways. So let's get on with it. Bringing the head sculpt closer, the head sculpt is actually quite nice. It's very reminiscent of the actual Iron Golem from the game. Uh, albeit it's a little plain, but then again, Minecraft and the Iron Golem itself are pretty plain. So this is pretty much spot on. The body itself is quite nice. I like the tan, I like the green, the shades of green, the yellowish bits on the flowers. The white is a little stark, a little too stark for my taste, but uh eh, a little detail. And, um, well, yeah. My biggest, the only thing which I find a little weird is that the shoulder bits of the, of the Lego, of the Lego version are slightly more downwards, whereas in the game, his shoulders are a little bit closer to the, to the, 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 the it's a little bit higher up than what we have in the game than what we have here. Not a big deal. It's a little weird, but then again, it's like they're trying to translate something from the game into reality. Also, I don't remember the Lego Iron Golem having feet. It never had feet like this. It never had. So that's a little weird on the aesthetic side, but aside from those two little nitpicks, it's perfect. The back, it's um, it's kind of plain, but then again, again, we were talking about something which is translated from Minecraft. So this is pretty much spot on. So let's get into the comparison here. And here he is with my version, Golem. You can check out the review for Golem on the channel. The link will be in the description. But for now, they're both very similar. In fact, you can actually make out that I made, I based this one off this one, and you can actually see it in how they're designed, especially in the torso and the feet. And mine is shaking a bit, so that's a little thing, but again, not really a big problem. So, they're they could practically be brothers, while we know, although mine and the mine and the official version are slightly different, are slightly different in terms of proportion. They're practically the same height, if you don't include that little stud piece here on Golem. So, yeah. That's all the good sides. So, what are the bad sides I want to talk about this figure? Well, if you turn to the side, it looks a little weird. It looks like his feet are on behind. Now, this figure does not come with instructions. It doesn't even come with a box. It just comes in a little baggy. I even bought another one just to show you that it actually comes in just a little baggy. There are no instructions at all, so you're gonna have to watch it off YouTube. But even so, the, it's weird. It just looks weird. Yeah, it looks weird. Even my version doesn't have this kind of weirdness to it. I'm gonna have to move the arm so that you can see. It do, it's not weird like that. So, yeah, he also has this clip hand. He also has this clip hand. It's nifty so that he can hold things with it. He can actually hold stuff with it. Like, if you wanted to, like, tackle Golem, he could, like, oh, wait, I, I guess I can't. No, not a clearance. I'll be right back. As you can see, he can hold this harpoon piece pretty much okay yeah so there is a little something that I need to be weary about to you the fact is that the first time you assemble this guy he's gonna he's gonna immediately fall apart I try I put this guy together and this arm moving this arm so slight oh whoops that's it Moving this arm so slightly caused the entire torso bit, this whole section, to basically self-destruct. 
there are many times where this guy has fallen apart due to this little tightness. It has loosened up and it has stayed together relatively well. But other than that, that's the only complaint I ever have. So if you want to, you have I suggest that you either get looser ball joints because honestly I feel like Lego has a problem with the ball joints because these feel tight and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera. If I can zoom in. There is already cracks in the ball in the socket joint. That's gonna be a little bad in the future. I, I, I'm quite worried about how long this will last. But other than that, he's he's very good. So would I recommend this figure? Well yeah, he's relatively cheap and he holds together okay as long as you loosen up everything. The ball joints in the arms mostly. And well that's that's it. So this is my recommendation. You should get it. Again, if you want to purchase this guy, there will be a link in the description below. And I think that's it for today. So this was the Lego review for the Lego Minecraft Iron Golem. This is Jay saying, remember, if you like this video, subscribe, you leave a like, comment, and share it with a friend. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. That's it. And this is Jay saying, have a good day.